Hello everyone, Justin Patton here. Hope you are doing great wherever you are in this crazy world. And you know I love getting your messages, whether it's Facebook or Twitter. And last night at about 2.05 in the morning, one of my Facebook followers sent me a message and was just reflecting on the video that I posted yesterday about everything we do in life serves a purpose. And um, sent me a follow-up little snippet from Brene Brown, who if you know me, you know I love Brene Brown and the whole her TED Talk, The Power of Vulnerability. I've actually, I'm a big believer and supporter and I give this book to a lot of people, The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. And he shared a snippet that he read on one of Brene Brown's blogs, which said this, and I want to share it with you today because I think it applies to every one of our lives and we've all been impacted by it at some point in our life. And the snippet of, that Brene Brown says is this, when, um, when our lives become pageants, we become actors. And we, um, when we become actors, we sacrifice authenticity. And without authenticity, we can't cultivate love and connection. And without love and connection, we have nothing. I'm going to read that to you again, just so you can hear it. That when our lives become pageants, we become actors. And when we become actors, we sacrifice authenticity. And without authenticity, we cannot cultivate love and connection. And without love and connection, we have nothing. And for me, the question I, would, I want us to all think about today is, do we walk around every day of our lives on a stage and on this pageant and trying to portray an image that we want other people to see us as? Or do we put on an image that we think other that we think other people want for us, so we try to live up to that image. Versus, I use that term coming out, coming out as our full authentic self and embracing every bit of who we are. Um, I'm going to get really personal and tell you about a story about a time that I felt like I was living that pageant or trying to put on an image that really wasn't who I am. And, you know, I taught high school for five years, and I went from teaching high school into corporate America, and I got asked to travel the country launching a healthcare product or, you know, talking to brokers and agents about the product. And I remember going to Texas and, you know, in, in, in this, you know, conservative area, and I don't know what was going on in my crazy mind, but for some reason, when I was doing these presentations, I wore a wedding band. Because I felt like maybe if I wore a wedding band, it would, it would put some attention. People wouldn't question either who I am, my sexuality, all this kind of stuff. And it was this crazy th thought process in my head. And I had some woman actually say to me, she's like, why can't you just be yourself? And it wasn't even just the wedding band thing. I think as sometimes we think about public speaking, we get, we get this idea of what a presenter or speaker should be. Well, I need to be buttoned up and I need to do three main points and I do to stand here and don't move too much and make sure I talk a certain way. And what happens so many times when we present, we forget to bring ourselves to the presentation and we leave ourselves outside in the hallway. And I finally had to get really clear that I wasn't, the best thing that I have to offer is myself and I was leaving it out. Because I was afraid of what if people don't like me or what if people don't like this part of me versus just saying my number one responsibility is to be myself. And I want you to hear that. I believe in life our number one responsibility is just to be our full authentic selves and who we are. And I'm going to tell you a great, probably one of the best quotes I've ever heard. And if you've heard me talk, you might have heard this quote before. But I was in, um, I was teaching a training class at Taco Bell. And the CEO, Greg Creed, was came into the class and one of the most humble, authentic leaders I've ever met in my life. Amazing man. And he's sharing some, you know, just tips about lessons he've learned in his life. And he said this. He said that when he was first starting as CEO, he, he was told by David Novak, president um, or CEO of Yum Yum Brands. He said, stop trying to prove that you belong and act like you belong. Stop trying to prove that you belong to, you know, to people and act like you belong. And I think so many of us are trying to prove that we belong. And that's why we're on that pageant or we're on that stage where we wear all these masks because we're so afraid. What if people don't like us? So I'm going to do everything I can to prove that I belong here versus just acting like it. And, you know, and just acting like I have my seat at the table and I deserve it. So here's what I want you to think about today. So, so here's what I want you to think about today. I love Siri. So can you, are you willing to come out of hiding from the mask that you potentially wear in your life? And for me, can you acknowledge today 
that there are masks that maybe that you're wearing in your life. And so, so maybe it's in your marriage or your relationship. Maybe it's things that you do with your friends. Maybe it's in, in your work situation. You know, I talk to my friends, sometimes they go to work and it's like they flip a switch. I got my work self and I got my home self and my personal self. Well, life doesn't work that way. We don't, we shouldn't have to flip a switch. We should be able to go be our full authentic selves wherever we go in our lives. Um, do you put on a mask about how you talk to people online or how do you talk to people about your career and how your success and are you trying to boost it and, and maybe over dramatize or over promote yourself when you can, you can just be who you are. And I will say this, let me end with this. I believe being your full authentic self, there are risks and there are rewards. So the risk is, is it, it, it requires you to be vulnerable. Right, And it requires that understanding that with that vulnerability, some people might not like it. And that's okay. The reward, on the other hand, is that you get to honor yourself every day. And you get to, lot, you get to live a life full of authenticity. And as Brene Brown said, right? Because with authenticity comes a deeper richness of love and connection. And at the end of the day, that's why we're here. And so... Underneath all this crazy pageant facade and all these masks we wear lies this beautiful, gifted human being that you are that has been gifted stories, skills, and experience, and can you honor those versus robbing yourself of the best parts of who you are and what you've been gifted in your life and stop trying to put on an image to please people and to say, I'm good enough the way that I am to show up fully as myself and I respect and honor that some people won't like it, and that's okay, but I owe it to myself to live an authentic, loving, richer, deeper life full of love and connection. So I hope it gives you something to think about. Um, for the person that sent me this quote in line, I appreciate you, and I, I appreciate you took the time to just share it with me. You know, I'm a big Brene Brown um, fan, and I haven't read that line before, so I'm going to go look up that blog. But, you know, even to Brene Brown, thank you for the work that you do, for inspiring us to, to believe in ourselves, to love deeper, ourselves deeper, and other people deeper. I appreciate you and all that you're doing. For everyone watching this video, if no one tells you today they believe in you, I believe in you. And part of us believing in ourselves is getting really clear about where we're wearing our mask and be willing to take those masks off to say, I've got to, my number one responsibility is to be authentic and love myself because the more that I can do that, the more I can share with other people. All right? Hope it gives you something to think about. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.